Hey guys, I'm going to show you a little quick intro to the developer playground that I just created. This is something that you can use to fork for a hackathon and it's going to kind of get you set up with a full React app and also a backend as well. It's super easy to host. You can throw it up on Vercel and uh, use Heroku for the, for the backend for the database, um, both of which you can do for free and you can even point your custom domain to it. And the real thing that I want to demonstrate here or that you know, you'll be able to use this for is to see how to use the SDK to create and manage flows. And the functionality is very simple. We're just calling creating a user object and then calling the flow function. So jumping right in, uh, if you're on the page now, you're probably at like playground.superfluid.finance is where it's going to be hosted. You can do that there, or if you go and pull it down locally from our mono repo, um, then you will see that there's no, you know, users populated here. So you'll have to actually log in a couple times to create some users. Um, so the first step will be to log in, and we're using Ethers uh, JS to perform our Web3 injection and all that good stuff, so we can grab the user's wallet and then we can ask them to sign a message to perform authentication which you might need for your project if you want your users to be able to like update their names or you know um, uh, insert their email for like a receipt if they're making a payment or something like that so once you log in then a user will be created you can click on that and see some information about it pay attention to the routing here uh, in this case, we're doing, you know, slash users slash their ID. And then we go to flow. We kind of switch to a different method where we do flows slash, um, you know, uh, recipient and then new. So this is like if you're going to create a new flow, you could give somebody this link and then they could fill out the rest. And in the form, we've already pre-filled the addresses that we need to create this new flow. The only thing that is left is the address of the token that we want, and we'll select our uh, fake die token. And then for the flow rate, as a quick little helper, I usually go to the tutorials and grab the flow rate from there instead of <laughs> calculating it by hand. But because you have to remember that this is, you know, if you're doing a thousand die per month, you have to convert. Uh, to 18 decimals and then you have to divide by the number of seconds in a month to get the tokens per second flow rate. So I think we're all ready to go now. Um, one extra thing to remember is that you cannot flow to yourself so make sure that these two addresses are different. Once we click submit the SDK in the background is going to create that user entity and call the flow function on it with the parameters that we are passing here in this form. All right, so as soon as that is processed, it will take us to the flow details page where, yep, there it goes, where we now see kind of like a snapshot of what's what's currently happening on chain. So currently, this owner is sending this recipient this flow rate of tokens and it's this token which is our die token address so um, in the background here um, if you go to the docs and then go to the front end and node.js section uh, you can see all the code for getting quickly uh, getting started quickly with SDK using ethers or web3.js and um, in in uh, in the example that we're doing today for the dev playground, you know you can see basically uh, a whole little snippet of that. And then of course, in our GitHub, you can see all the code for this playground, uh, so that you can fork it and use it for your um, your hackathon submission. So if we go over to the app, which I kind of bounce back and forth when I'm doing development between you know the playground or my hackathon. Um, app and then I bounce back to the official app, the official super app to see more details about the flow and uh, we can see here that you know recently I've updated a flow 
and it's to the same address that we did over here. Um, A5CD, A5CD. So that's pretty much how to use the dashboard. We'll probably, or the sorry, the playground. We'll probably add additional features later, like the IDA. But this is just trying to get you started quickly and show you an example of how to use the SDK. So happy hacking.